Hey Google, turn lights to white. <sighs> what time is it? I think I have to record Egglock soon. Does that say Friday? October? Oh, shit. this where I have to go? Okay, it is. All right. Salutations, all you lovelies. My name is Equinox, and I got lost in the game for a bit. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Omega Ruby Scrambled Egglock. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally back with this series after so long. I am so sorry. Tons of things got in the way, and I won't bore you with the details. We are back. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know where I was going. I found out where I was going. All is good in the hood like it should be. My hair has gotten even more disheveled under this light because I've been here for about 40 minutes trying to figure out where to walk to. I walked all the way to the Pico, like, to the place where it takes you to Duford. I walked all the way to the end of the freaking mountain. I walked all the way to Pedalburg. I came back. I, don't, I didn't know where I was going. It was right here the whole time. It was right here the whole time where I just had to span through some dialogue, which is perfect because I wanted to let you guys know that we are finally back with this series. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a long time coming. Also, the lights look fantabulous today. Uh, I love that they have a nice little blue hint to them. Look, look, look. I, I had to talk about this at some point. Hey, Google, change the lights to red. <laughs> All right, hey, Google, change the lights to blue. Sorry, I just, I, 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 I had to talk about it. Google, hey Google, make lights blue. Thank you, Jesus. All right, cool. Sorry, I, that had to get talked about eventually, you know. And I just, I was waiting to talk about it all day. I'm really excited that I have blue lights. I'm really excited that the lights change colors because it means the setup can look even better. And ah, okay. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the Pokemon Omega Ruby Scrambled Egglock. I'm sorry that it's been so long, but. Lots of stuff got in the way with like family reasons and personal reasons and then streaming like kind of took the forefront for a little bit and then making new types of videos kind of like brainstorming what I really want to do with the channel. That's been kind of taken the forefront as well. And uh, let me tell you, I I've got kind of some ideas of where I want this channel to head towards, but that does mean that we're kind of like, I don't want to stop the content that we're doing on this channel, but I want to change it a bit. I really do. I like this content. I like these episodes. Th this is, these are good. However, I don't really, I don't really know about doing tons of traditional Let's Plays anymore. Now, like doing Let's Plays and verses with other people, that's different because that's just, that's like, that is just a different beast entirely. That is just a lot of big fun and a lot of, a lot of big laughs all around. But doing traditional Let's Plays, like being like, oh, guys, welcome back to my Pokemon Omega Ruby Scrambled Egglock Let's Play. Doo -doo -doo. Like, I know it's a Scrambled Egglock, but that still doesn't change the fact that it's literally me just talking to myself doing a solo Let's Play for a while. Which, honestly, I'm, I hope you guys find entertaining, but I feel like I could do a lot more. Especially with the editing, especially with the timestamping, especially with just tons of stuff. Like, I could do way more with it. And I, I've been thinking about what I should do. And uh, if you actually keep up on all the videos on my channel and don't just watch the Pokemon ones, well, first off, I applaud you. You are a champion. Second off, uh, people that just watch the Pokemon ones, just, you just, I, I make perfectly good other videos. You should go watch them. Like this one up on screen right now. Transition, segues are weird, but uh, this video right here is actually one of the first videos I've ever made that I like I took a completely different like approach to it and I thought it was fantastic. I really enjoyed how it came out. Everyone that did watch it told me that it was, that they loved the feedback on it, that, that they loved the feedback on it. Gave me good feedback and said that they loved it. I fused those two sentences together. Um, and you know what? Don't take my word for it. The video link is in the description. You guys should go check it out. It is a stream highlight where all the best bits of the stream are cut together and edited in my flashy editing way that we usually do over here in the PokeTube and community. And um, 
Really, I think all of it came together really nicely. It tells a good story, even though everything's cut together. The cohesion is, is fantastic. And honestly, more than anything, I think it's funny. And more than more than anything, sorry, there's another thing that I think is even more important than that. It ties my streaming content in with my video making content, which I think is really cool. I really enjoy the fact that it can do both of those. So not only do we have that, we also have, um, like we'll also have collab projects on this channel. So I feel like the collab projects are what need to really be taking the forefront of like let's playing. So say versus with Frank, that's fine. Versus with Tobin or Soul Link with Tobin, that's fine. That type of stuff, that'll stay on the channel. Those will still be like let's play type things. But I feel like I kind of really want to focus on making those types of videos, the Mario 64 highlight one that I kind of showed you guys. Because honestly, I'm really passionate about it and I really want to do it. Now, what does that mean for this series? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully it means that I'm going to still finish this series all the way through and it's going to be great. The only problem is, is I want to do that type of video making with Sword and Shield. As soon as Sword and Shield comes out, I want to hit the ground running and I, and I want to like, of course, stream it day one, duh. But I also, can you not just, can you, you just missed high jump kick on my birthday. On my birthday, you just missed high jump kick. Wow. Wow. You really did that to me. You really did that to me. All right, you know what? That's it. That's it. We're, we're sending in the big guns. I don't dare anymore. Uh, but what that means is Whenever Sword and Shield comes out, I really want to focus on those types of videos. So I'm going to do my best to wrap up uh, Scrambled Egglock before Sword and Shield drops. So we've got about a month of Sword and Shield, or of, of this game before Sword and Shield drops. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get through just all of it. So I think what might need to happen is we might need one or two live episodes of this. Now, I'm not just going to say like, yo, I'm doing all this shit, fucking deal with it. No, I wouldn't do that to you guys. I do want to say that uh, everything that I've just said, like all of it, like if, if you guys are watching this, God bless you. If you guys are, 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 you know, taking in what I'm saying and listening to it, like I know this isn't like the funny EQ stuff, but this is something that I really wanted to talk about because I've been thinking about it a lot recently and I kind of want to shift the way the channel's heading because I feel like I can make better content that way. And honestly, at the end of the day, if I'm, if I'm literally sitting here bottlenecking myself from making better content that I know and want to do, I'm shooting myself in the foot. So this is where you guys come in. Let me know down below. Do you like the type of Mario, th that Mario video? Do you like that type of content? Because I can do it with all my live streams. Hell, I could probably even do it with certain video games, like just recording a video game and making a video like that. I've done it with uh, Mario Maker. That would be a lot of fun, actually. So that that's a thing. Comment down below as well. Do, are you guys okay with... Um, a couple episodes of this being live like not the whole series of course being like a couple episodes being live and also comment down below um what do you think about i guess solo let's plays in general like do you think they really still have a place do you think they're still good or do you think that if we change up the form a bit we could still keep this solo content nice and fresh because I really think that I could I could change this up and I feel like I can make this a lot better than just, you know, let's play Pokemon Omega Ruby Scrambled Egglock. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm loving this series and I'm having fun with it. But I feel like I feel like in the future I can kick the content up to 11 and I feel like that's what I want to try to do. So that's probably what we're going to attempt to do here. Um, thank you all for listening to me ramble, by the way. You guys are great. And uh, I, I hope that I hope that you guys still continue to watch, even if I like, you know, don't do solo let's plays. I know solo let's plays aren't the forefront of the channel. I don't think anyone like, like I I, I, I don't think that's like the main thing. I know you, a lot of people still probably like them because they like just you know good old Equinox content. But I mean, at the same time, you're still getting solo EQ videos. There still will be tons of those. Just maybe not, you know, all the drag of a let's play. Or maybe the drag of the Let's Plays cut out for the best bits of the Let's Play. Something like that, you know? And I really think that would be... That, in the end, is kind of what I really want to start doing with the channel. And really, I feel like it'll make better content for you guys. I feel like it could pull more people in. It could just honestly be great for everything. And then, of course, once again, like I said, like, versus content, soling content, collabing projects in the poker community will stay on this channel. That stuff will stay. We're not, we're not dropping that. I enjoy doing those, and I think they come out funny regardless. 
um, of like the fast paced editing or anything like that. So I don't know. Just let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I require a lot of feedback right now. Like feedback is going to be very crucial uh, with with all of the things that I've just said. And uh, anyways, now that I've rambled for about 13 minutes, you know, let me just uh, actually it's not even been 13 minutes. It's been about 10. Oh, I'm not going to be able to tell my timestamps because I started my timestamps and then I got lost. I think we've been live, live. I think we've been recording for about 10 minutes. 10? 10 minutes? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna say 10 minutes. We got 20 minutes left of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Also, um, this episode is getting recorded on the 4th, but it's also getting recorded at 3 p.m. on the 4th and I have to go live at seven. I might push it to eight. So I don't know how this is gonna get uploaded or when it's going to get uploaded. I might have to upload this the fifth, which would suck. I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna do everything I can to get this uploaded the fourth, all right? I'm gonna do my damnedest, all right? That's what we're gonna do. Man, there's, there's just so much going on in my head. If you guys didn't know, I kinda woke up like an hour ago. So I'm still like kinda in like the groggy, like, oh, 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 we got food in its face. So, you know, it's, it's, I mean, I haven't had any food yet. And this is the first kind of drink I've had. I literally have been sitting here trying to deal with technical difficulties for an hour. Cause I wanted to record this as soon as I got up. And then I sat here and dealt with problem after problem after problem. But you know what? We're here, we're ready and we're gonna go. Ah! I'm awake. I'm sorry. I promise I'm awake, Mom. I'm, I promise. I'm, re I'm, I'm awake and I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I got this. I, I got this, Mom. All right. Anyways. This Jim Savar has been a very big pushover. Like, I have not had a single problem in this. Ooh, heat trend. Comedic timing. I'm not a fan. Comedic timing. I, I am not a fan. Did a bug just fly right past my, my camera? Are you kidding me? All right. Comedic timing, I'm not a fan. He, he shouldn't have any grass moves, we should be good. He damn sure won't have any electric moves. He trying to rock the Leer. Right, that's, fine. Ah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. All right, Pearl, I'm gonna need you to waterfall real quick. Leer? On my birthday? No, 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 get out of here. Get out of here, Heatran. Get bopped, get boopled, suck. Ooh, he lived. All right, let's just waterfall again. Get out of here, Heatran. No, Heatran, stop. Stop leering. Halt. That is not okay. All right, there you go, he's dead. And Wondrous, we grew to level 19. Oh my God, it's like my birthday. Perfection. And Ella grew to level 19 as well. Cool, cool. Lopany, ooh, Lopany. I want to fight Lopany on Lopany, but I feel like your Lopany would kick my Lopany's ass. So we're not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to bring out a, a nice little Earth Quake, and we're going to Quake all over the Earth. Let's just do. You're bracing yourself for my Earthquake. Okay. It wasn't really going to kill you. It was going to do about, you know, half, and then maybe Ice Beam. Ice Beam, because I think Ice Beam would do better. Ice Beam's special, and we are special, I think. Right? I'm not an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. All right, whatever. It's fine. Oh, I was like, it has Wonder Guard? No way, I have Wonder Guard. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, my bad. I'm the cool one. No, okay, okay. We're good. 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 <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> that frightened me. Ooh, Mud Sport. Uh, why would you want to learn that? You have Earthquake. You, you, no. You have Earthquake? You don't need to weaken electricity power. That'd be kind of cool, though, if I just, like, had a move that was immune to electricity. No, Pearl. No, Pearl. We've been over this. You're not allowed to evolve. No. No. Jeez. Jeez, okay? You can't be doing that. Not on my Christian Minecraft server. I don't know how far to go. Okay. Every turn I take, every trail I track, let me heal right up before this gets whack. I've been hanging out with Frank too much, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go fight the gym leader, Braley. Braley's about to get fucked. Also, I realize now that I walk into the fucking next route and I didn't even catch a Pokemon. I'm an idiot. It's okay, we get like three fishing opportunities here. And I feel like that's what we're gonna do with the rest of this episode, is we're gonna fish. We're gonna do some big fishing, and then we're gonna find like eight Rayquazas. 
It's gonna be great. Eight Rayquazas. There's only like three chances to catch any Pokemon whatsoever. <laughs> do, 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 do. I love Krikatoon's cry. It's 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 beautiful. And also the fact that Krikatoon has a mustache is just it's fantastic. Look at look at that mustache. That's a dapper man right there. That is a dapper mon right there, even. That's even better. Look look at that. Look at that Krikatop. Oh. And we got Moxie. Perfect. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, let me beat this gym first. But then I got a story, okay? Then I got a story. Also, uh, if you guys are wondering why I'm like trying to talk like closer to the mic and talk like this, it's because whenever I yell, that's what happens to my voice. Uh, my voice is absolutely shot because of live streaming and eh, there's just nothing I can do about it. Anyway, Sandshrew's coming out to play, but that that's gonna be an easy fight. So let me tell you, let me tell you guys a story. Let me tell you guys a story. What do these look like to you? They look like Logitech speakers, right? Perfectly fine speakers. You would take them out of the box, you would plug them in, you would turn them on, and you'd be able to hear music, correct? WRONG! Whenever I took them out, brand new, out of the box, bought them from Best Buy today, came home, Turned it in, plugged it, turned it in, plugged it on. Plugged it in, turned it on. <laughs> plugged it in, turned it on. What did I get? I got sadness. It said, choose what device this was. So I was like, oh, it works. I plugged it in and there's a little green dot on it that's supposed to light up. It didn't light up. And so I'm trying and I'm trying. I'm like, I don't know, maybe I should, maybe I plug it in upside down even though the knob's a fucking circle. Like I just, maybe, maybe I just, maybe if I just turn it to the right a bit, maybe if I do do the Fandango, maybe if I, if I serenaded a song or something, maybe something will work, right? Nothing, nothing worked. And at the end of the day, I just put them in the box and was defeated. I have to take these back to Best Buy at some point because they just were faulty. They just did not work. I literally went to the store again to buy other speakers because I still needed speakers. I now have speakers. These are black web speakers, by the way, and I know they look really dusty, but I promise you they're just really dusty. <laughs> oh my God, this is my life. This is what happens on my day-to-day -day basis. I just literally, I just get fuckled over at every time. Oh my God, I wasn't timestamping swears. I forgot we can't swear in these. Let's just hope I haven't sworn. I don't think I've sworn. I don't think I've sworn once. I think I've been a, a nice, PG, lovable, drop me, bloody thing. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I've sworn before. I, I don't think I swore at all. Not once. Nope. And there's definitely not going to be a single person in the comment section that's going to correct me and tell me I've sworn 80 times. That's not... <laughs> no. No, that's, that didn't happen. I, I didn't swear, and I wouldn't swear, because swearing is bad, ladies and gentlemen. That doesn't happen. I didn't swear. No. Anyways, with my nice and PG self, we're going to go and catch some PG Pokemon. Uh, P-Jokemon, if you're... Okay, that was stupid. That was stupid. That was just dumb. That was I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, comment section. I'm sorry, community. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Also, do you guys like that uh like the little dinosaur here? If you guys are part of my streams, you know what it's from, but we're just gonna leave him here because I think he fits. He fits and he looks beautiful. He's just chilling. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's hard to even notice him at some points. I don't even notice there's a dinosaur here. I'm just literally just big chilling with him. Alright, super repel, more like pooper repel. I'll see myself. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm stupid, dude. I'm so stupid. Just, just give me the rod. Just give me the fishing rod. Just let me have. Thank you. 
What if we get amazingly good Pokemon? What if we get a Pokemon that is like, like, like big Chungus level Pokemon? Wouldn't that be cool? Don't you? What What if our Mon was Big Chungus? How cool would that be? Big Chungus the Pokemon. Let me see. Let me see what we got here. Old Rod. We're gonna register that. And you know what? We're gonna catch Lugia right here, which is also Big Chungus, obviously. What do you mean I reeled it in too slow? I mashed A as soon as those exclamation marks pulled up on screen. Did you want me to mash A before? Like, I could not have possibly reeled that in any faster. Why? Why would you do this to me? There, I mashed as fast as possible. Are we good? Ooh, it doesn't matter, but Umbreon, cool. Whoa, whoa, my hair float. Man, let's talk here. Okay, you know, Umbreon, I, I just realized that it doesn't matter what we're gonna catch here, but we're gonna catch it anyway. I forgot how my own rule set works. Forgot how that works at all. Speaking of my own rule set, uh, watch this advertisement real quick, and then we'll be right back with this caught Pokemon. Colors weave into a spire of flame. Distant sparks call to a pastel unnamed. Bear this torch against the cold of the night. Set your soul and reawaken the undying light. On that day when the sky fell away, our world came to an end. In my eyes, to the fading sunrise in the dark, glimmering shadows. And there it is. Caught the Umbreon. Man, that was a cool advertisement, everybody. Anyways. It has been captured. We're going to go see what it is right now. I'm going to go do the old egg locky thingy, the whole trade the Pokemon egg in and level it up to level 10 because that's the level it was. I am excited. What if we get, what, what do you think we're going to get? What do you, what do you think? I, I'm hoping something good this time. But first off, out of the three boxes we have, we're going to do one, two. We're going to do box number two. Box number two is actually a very popular box. We're going to do one through five. And we got five. All right. Kind of a semi-popular row. And we're going to do one through six. And we got three, ladies and gentlemen. Amphi. If that's not an Ampharos, I'm just going to be very confused. Uh, for a moment, we're going to put down the little the old Mudkip. He's got to just chill in there for a minute. Don't worry. We're going to get him back out. It's okay. Oh. Oh. An egg is hatching. All right. Well, what do we got? That's what I expected. A shiny Ampharos. I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, I have Tesla. Huh. Huh. Well, we might put this on. Let, let me look at its moveset. Hold on. Hold on. Can't, can't judge a book by its cover. Let's look at the Mon's moveset. Amphi, what you got for me? All right, Amphi's got an air balloon, tail glow, thunderbolt, eruption, and water spout. F fuck. And it has Wonder Guard. And it has Wonder Guard. Guys, y'all are making this a little too easy, I'm gonna be honest. When I said make it, like, give, give me good mons because we're level boosting it, I didn't say give everything Wonder Guard. That's definitely coming on the team. I apologize, KFC Chicken, but you are no longer you are no longer a part of the team because you don't have Wonder Guard. That is actually freaking amazing. Also, we need a water type, so gotta. Amphi is actually sick. Oh my god. You know what? Let's not grind up the Mon yet. Let me go. Uh, let me go get two more things, and then we're gonna wrap up this episode. I'll grind them up off screen. Like we'll just do the rare candy thing off screen. You know. Because I, I don't know how long we've been recording for, because my timer is all messed up, but I would say it's about 23 minutes, I'd say. We got seven minutes left. All right, Pupitar. Nah, you. <sighs> kind of was hoping for a like, easier, more catchable Mon, especially at level five, but you know what? We're going to throw a great ball, and it's going to immediately catch it. Watch. There it is. Got it. Perfect. It's in the ball. Wonderful. There is a fly flying around me, and I'm not okay with it. I, uh, 
One thing I hate about this ring light is if there is like a single fly in the entire household, which there, of course there will be because we live in Texas, and I have to keep the fucking window open at some points or else I just burn! Pissed. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. But because of the light, he just always flies towards it. And he just, it's his home. He will just never leave and it annoys the ever living fuck out of me. All right, maybe Nightmare can do something. Maybe Nightmare can do something. I don't even remember the moves Nightmare has. I'm gonna be honest with everybody here. I, I don't even remember what it's got. I don't even remember the moves it got. But you know, maybe it do. Maybe we'll be good. All right, Pupitar. What the fuck? What the fuck are these moves? All right, Free Shock. Clearly Free Shock's gonna, this is gonna help. We got this. He just bit me, that's fine. All right, Free Shock. Did it, caught it. It's in the ball. Nailed it. First try. Honestly, what else could I have done there? Megahorn would have killed it. Outrage would have killed it. And it, I would have died just sitting there. I just killed it. Sorry. <laughs> you know, we don't we don't need whatever that is. We'll we'll find out what the mons were eventually in a little hatching stream. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Which by the way, if you guys didn't know that, at the end of the series we're doing a little hatching stream where we catch all the eggs that we had, which are, is gonna be really cool. Because we got tons of eggs. That's fine. We do have one more chance to get an encounter, and then I think we'll call this an episode. Uh, I don't know why we'll call it an episode, and I'm not gonna lie with you guys. I'm feeling a pretty big poop coming on. Like, I'm, I'm I'm ready to just lay down some logs, if you know what I'm saying. You know, lay lay some foundation. Okay, that's 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 gross. Let's just not make jokes about that. Let's just. I I hate when people do that. I hate when people do that. I don't know why I started doing it, but it is a pet peeve of mine when people are like, oh, laying down the logs or dropping the kids off at the pool. I hate that. That is so gross. That is so horrendous. If you do that, please stop it. Please. That is not okay. I do not like it. Ugh. Okay, it's. I just used Pursuit. Last time it did nothing to the Umbreon, but it just murdered the Yanmega, and it was neutral. Okay, guess we'll go do the plot then, instead of, you know, catching and hatching them on. Yeah, it's fine, I don't need it, whatever. Whatever, just whatever, man, it's okay. I'm sad. <laughs> We've been recording for 30 minutes, but I don't know how long it actually has been because of time parts that I'm gonna cut out So I'm gonna go for another two more minutes. I guess Let's fight these dudes. Let's fight these dudes and we'll call it a day But anyways, if you guys haven't even enjoyed this episode make sure to slap that like button and subscribe for Moo Infernape Hello, how you doing Infernape? I've got something I'd like you to meet. It's called Brave Bird. So it's a nice, it's a nice, cool, friendly. That's an Ember. Okay, that's fine. I just, I, I thought it was gonna use some. I don't know what it was gonna use. I don't know why I'm intimidated by this Infernape, but he just, he scares me. He's dead though, so we're good. Anyways, uh, if you guys didn't enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like button. I, if it can, you know, the fucking fly is gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna get angry. I'm gonna fly off into space. If you guys did indeed enjoy this episode, make sure to like it and subscribe for more. Let's go for 40 likes on this episode. I believe we can do that. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see that new type of content on the channel because I really, really want to make it. And uh, let me get, let me know if you guys are okay with some live episodes of this series before Sword and Shield come out because I really want to focus on Sword and Shield whenever Sword and Shield comes out because, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm really excited for Sword and Shield. I really am, honestly. So, Sword and Shield, whenever that comes out, I heard there are 18 badges in that game. Bro, that's so much content. I'm so excited. All right, Dano. Dano, more like lame-o. Get that sucker punch. On my birthday. You do that to me on my birthday. Really, Dano? Really, Dano? Okay. Get out of here. I was just trying to get the first hit, but no, nah, whatever. 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 All right. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Equinox, and I will see you all in the next episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Scrambled Egglock. Remember, let me know all the stuff down below. Thank you all for the support of this series and just the channel in general. Peace!